A Macat Analysis of Samuel Huntington's The Clash of Civilizations Culture and ideology shape our relationships. Both define who we choose to associate with. But which has more influence? Cultural factors such as language, customs, and societal rules? Or ideological ones such as politics or philosophy? In 1996, Samuel Huntington published The Clash of Civilizations, in which he theorized that cultural differences between civilizations, rather than ideological differences, would be the primary source of future global conflict. Let's create a clash between two stereotypical high schools. It's lunchtime at City Academy. The football team eats with the cheerleaders. The nerds are playing cards, the popular kids are playing guitar, and the art club are reading poetry to each other. These different groups aren't mixing, and they aren't really keen to either. The social groups stick together based on aspects of themselves they believe to be fundamental, personal, and defining. Civilizations share history, religion, language, and other important cultural touchstones. There is an easily identifiable us and them, both in global politics and in the lunchroom. School's out, and the cliques from City Academy are mixing easily with the cliques from Hill High School across the road. The football teams play a match, the nerds compare math notes, the guitar circle has doubled in size, and the art club have formed a poetry group. This is the natural order of things, until the parade comes to town. There's a competition for the best float, and both schools want to win. Next day, the lunch tables at both schools look very different. The different groups are sitting around the same table having put aside their cultural differences to work as a team. The art club are in charge of painting, the nerds are programming the float's lights, the cheerleaders are planning outfits, and the popular kids have recorded a song. The contest has changed the basis of association and antagonism. They have become allies against a collective adversary, the school across the street. Parade day comes and City Academy takes home the prize. Days later, having put aside their cultural differences to support an ideological cause, they're back to their old ways. In the case of international conflict, Huntington believed the same thing happens. Countries pull together and cooperate when fighting for a shared ideology, for instance in times of war. But Huntington believed that cultural differences are more pervasive than ideology. He thought that cultural separations persist, and therefore these differences will be a perpetual source of recurring conflict. He applies this theory to the alliances and antagonisms that were formed during and after the Cold War, and in doing so, raises some controversial questions about the driver of conflict. A more detailed examination can be found in the McCat Analysis.